Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Code's YouTube channel. Kaushal this side and I hope you guys are doing well. Today we'll be taking you through HTML versus XHTML. XHTML is a frequently used term in web designing these days. In this video, we'll see what it is and what makes it different from HTML. But before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Code. So without any further delay, let's get started. Before we go through the difference between HTML and XHTML, let's understand what XHTML is. XHTML stands for Extensible Hypertext Markup Language. You might have heard terms like HTML, HTML5, HTML4 and XHTML in the field of web design. W3C introduced XHTML in the year 2000. It is an advanced version of HTML. The basic difference between HTML and XHTML is that both are based on different standards. HTML is based on HGML which stands for Standard Generalized Markup Language. It is a standard for generalized markup languages. While XHTML is XML based, Extensible Markup Language, a file format for storing and transferring the data. It is a set of rules for encoding a document that is both human readable and machine readable. XHTML was derived from HTML in such a way that it follows all the XML standards. The difference between HTML and XHTML is easily noticeable. In simple terms, XHTML was derived from HTML to follow XML standards. That's it. So what's the point of using XHTML? If HTML is already capable of doing everything, the current version of HTML we are using is HTML 5.0 and it is capable of doing almost everything. But XHTML is a bit stricter than HTML. As we already mentioned that XHTML follows XML standards. So XHTML is a better way of writing HTML. We'll prove it with the help of examples. So here you can see we have two files present over here on VS Code. One is test1.html and the other one is test1.xml. So this is a HTML file and this is a XHTML file. Fine. You can see the extensions over here. For an HTML file, we generally use .htm or .html extension. On the other hand, while working on an XHTML file, we need to use extensions like .xhtml or .xml. So here we are using .xml as a extension. So let me tell you the difference between them now. We have been using HTML for quite some time now, right? We know that this language is not case sensitive. We can write any tag in uppercase or in lowercase. It will work totally fine. XHTML on the other hand is a bit stricter. We have to use every tag in lowercase only. It is case sensitive. So let's understand it with the help of an example. First, we'll write a simple code in HTML. So let's write it down over here. What we'll do is we'll write here inside the body tag of a HTML document. So this is a HTML document. This is the output. Let's change the title for this as well. So we'll write over here HTML document. Save it. And here you can see the title is HTML document now. Now we'll write something over here. So let's use some tags over here. We'll use the H1 tag first. Let's write something over here like this is an example of HTML. Save it and here you can see we have this heading which says this is an example of HTML. It's totally fine. Now we'll use h1 tag again. So let's use h2 tag now. Fine. In place of h1 we are going to use h2 tag. So let's write something over here as well. So we'll write over here this is an example with uppercase okay, tags. Fine. Save it and you, here you can see this code is also working fine. Now let's write another code. We are going to use a paragraph tag. We are going to write here style. So we'll write style over here like this. Color and we are going to mention the color as red. Fine. Now we have to close this paragraph tag. And here we have to write something. So let's say we are writing over here. Welcome to a channel. Fine. Save it. And here you can see we have a paragraph in red color. Fine. So, this is a simple example. 
You see here, we have our data present on the browser, despite the fact that we have used uppercase in the heading tag. Here you can see we have used uppercase in a heading tag or we can say in h2 tag. The next error here is that we have used the style attribute incorrectly. You can see it over here. We are not using any double quotes over here. But if we try to write the same code in XHTML, then it will create some problems for us. So let's do it. What we'll do is we'll copy this whole piece of code from here. It's an HTML code. We'll move to a XHTML file and we'll paste it here. Fine. Now we are done with it. We have used our HTML code in our XHTML file. What happens in XHTML is it is case sensitive when it comes to using tags. Fine. So save it now. Move to a H XHTML document. Here's the output. So we have to refresh this page. Refresh it and here you can see this page contains the following errors. The first heading is working totally fine. You can see it says this is an example of HTML or we have to let's change it over here. We'll write over here XHTML. Save it now. Refresh it and here you can see it says this is an example of XHTML but the other two tags are not working at all. Okay. So here you can see we have this paragraph from h2 tag but it's not actually working because it is not bold in nature or you can say the font size is smaller because the h2 tag is not working in xhtml fine so what we have to do is we have to write here first we have to write it in small or we can say lowercase alphabets because xhtml is case sensitive fine save it now refresh it and here you can see it's working totally fine now this tag is also working fine. Now for the last tag, what we have to do is we have to mention it inside double quotes. So we have to write here like this and then we have to mention it inside double quotes. Fine. Save the program. Refresh it. And here you can see now it's working totally fine. It says welcome to our YouTube channel which is red in color. The font color is red. So this is the correct way of using XHTML. And this is also the difference between HTML and XHTML. So in XHTML, we have to follow certain set of rules. Fine. The next difference we'll discuss is the difference in empty elements. Empty elements are those elements which do not require any closing tag. Fine. In HTML, if we use the break tag, we have to write here like, so we'll move to a HTML file and we'll put a break tag over here simply. Fine. So we'll open the output. We'll come back here. We'll save the program. And here you can see the break tag is working totally fine. Now let's use the same break tag in a XHTML file. So we'll copy it from here. We'll move to our XHTML file and we'll paste it here. Fine. So save the program and refresh the browser. So you can see there's an error over here. It says this page contains following errors. So it says error on line 14 at column 8. So actually the error is this. In XHTML, each tag needs to be closed. Fine. Closing a tag is mandatory in XHTML. So for closing an empty tag, we don't have to do so much of a task. We just have to put a forward slash over here after the break tag, save it now, refresh the browser and you can see we have this space over here. The break tag is working totally fine now. So each empty element which we use in HTML must have a closing tag to use it in XHTML. It's no big deal to put a forward slash right after we use a tag, right? Other difference in HTML and XHTML are of doc type. In HTML, we use the doc type as HTML only. So we have to mention it over here, doc type as HTML. Although it's not necessary to mention it, but in XHTML, it is mandatory to use doc type. The doc type is different. We have to mention this whole thing over here. We have to mention doc type HTML. Then we have to mention all this doc type. And then we have to change this XML NS as well in XHTML. And we have to put the version and all in XHTML. So HTML do not require any of them. It's not necessary to add any of them in HTML. But if you are using HTML and if you are working as a developer or a programmer, so it is good to follow certain rules. Fine. So it is good to use these things in your HTML document as well. I hope you guys must have got an idea about what XHTML is and how to use it. It's HTML only, but it comes with certain rules we need to follow while working on XHTML. So let's discuss why to use XHTML or we can say is it worth using XHTML. Now XHTML was designed to be a better version of HTML 4.0 but with the introduction of HTML5 which includes many new features 
using HTML5 over any other markup language is easier and better. The important takeaway is that each one of them is an extraordinary variety of HTML markup languages with syntactic patterns and features. So if you are a beginner, we now no longer propose HTML4 and XHTML. And it would be easy for you to learn HTML5 first due to its more advantageous compatibility and massive usage. So I hope you guys must have understood the concept of XHTML by now. That's all for this video guys. See you in another session. If you enjoyed watching this video then do give it a thumbs up. If you have any doubts, do let us know in the comments below. Share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. Simply code. Thank you.